Right. Next, we have volume units, and I threw in a, uh, a cubic unit here just for a little uh, practice. We have a couple of those. 13.61 milliliters to cubic millimeters. All right. So this one is a little bit more involved. 13.61 milliliters. The first thing we need to recognize is that in one milliliter there are or is one uh, cubic centimeter. All right. So this uh, is something you need to remember and that will allow you to go between volume units with liters to cubic length units. Okay. Um, and so here we'll have cubic centimeters, but we want cubic millimeters, right? So how many millimeters are in a centimeter? Okay. Um, again, milli is 10 to the minus three. Centi is 10 to the minus two. So there are 10 and which one is uh, smaller? Here's 10 to the minus 2, so that's a bigger number than 10 to the minus 3. So that means the millimeter is smaller, and there are 10 millimeters in 1 centimeter. Okay, so we need centimeters on the bottom so that it will cancel. In 1 centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. All right. Now, let's look at this. We have centimeters cubed, all right? This will cancel one of those, but we'll still have two left over, okay? Um, so what we have to do is cube this whole uh, factor, or I'll just go ahead and write this out a couple more times so that you can see it very clearly. 10 millimeters to one centimeter. Now we have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. And what does that equal? Centimeters cubed. All right. So all together, those three cancel with that one. And then what are we left with? Millimeters times millimeters times millimeters equals cubic millimeters. And that's what we're looking for. Okay. So here... Um, is our uh, calculation. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. We're moving the decimal place three places to the right. Okay, so that will be 13, and it was 0.61, but now it's going to be 6, 1, and then we throw in a zero just to tell us that's where the decimal goes. Note that this is not a significant figure because it's it's not part of the number it's just there to tell us the size of that number okay so and this is in cubic millimeters All right uh, just a couple more here 187.0 milliliters in cubic inches All right so this time we're doing a similar thing except converting to an English unit 187.0 milliliters and we want to convert to cubic inches. Now I don't know how many milliliters are in a cubic inch so I can't convert that directly. So um, let's see how we might be able to convert that. All right, We have to map out a, uh, a solution or a route to get there. And the first thing, just like we did before, we need to recognize that the milliliter is the same as a cubic centimeter, and then that will get us headed in the right direction. Okay, because what do you notice? The cubic centimeter, uh, well, the centimeter is length, <coughs> inches is length, and I can convert between centimeters and inches. All right. The, uh, the conversion factor that you need here 
is 2.54 centimeters in one inch. Okay, this is a good number to remember. Okay, that's a, a good thing to know. 2.54 centimeters per inch. It also happens that this is an exact number. Okay, it's actually defined. Uh, there are exactly 2.54 centimeters per inch. All right, so that's just kind of FYI there. Um, but what are we going to have to do here? All right, we have centimeters, we have centimeters cubed. All right, just like before, we need to put this in there three times. Okay, so um, now we have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. Altogether, those are centimeters cubed. That cancels here. And we're left with inches times inches times inches, which is inches cubed, which is what we want. So for this one, we're going to need a calculator. And that uh, is, uh, let's see here. 187 um, divided by 2.54 all right and then we're going to divide that again by 2.54 and divide it a third time by 2.54 and then you have 11.411 and there's lots of other digits there but we don't need that many. Um, we're just going to stop at 11.41 because we have four significant figures here. Remember the zero is after the decimal place, trailing zero after the decimal place, so that is significant. So we'll leave it with four significant figures here. Put in our units as inches cubed. Okay, one last uh, conversion, and these are units that uh, you haven't seen before, but I thought I'd throw them in because I'm sure you've heard about them, all right? This is the watt, all right? That's abbreviated by the W, so 12,989 kilowatts is how many megawatts, all right? So this is a measure of um, electrical uh, power and but w it's treated exactly the same 12,989 kilowatts and then we want to know okay how many kilowatts are in a megawatt well there again we can go through and say okay kilo is 10 to the third mega is 10 to the Sixth, it's a million. Um, the difference between these is 10 to the third or a thousand, right? Which one is bigger? The megawatt. So that means there are a thousand kilowatts in a megawatt. Okay, so when we put that here, we're going to put that on the bottom 1000 kilowatts in one megawatt. So what we get from this, we're dividing by a thousand, so we're going to move the pl decimal place to the left, three places. We'll have 12.989 megawatts. Okay. Hopefully these conversions um, have been helpful for you. I know I went through them uh, fairly quickly, but uh, hopefully the added practice will be beneficial.